Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today we're going to be installing the rave valves, um, the exhaust manifold, and the rotor, rotor cover, oil pump, reed valves, and that's probably about it. We may get to some other stuff. First we're going to install these reed valves. Um, they go right in these slots. They just are held in with two Allen bolts. One thing to note on these is when you install overbore pistons, you have to shave back the edge right here by, it depends on how much your pistons are overbore, but in this case, I think it was around uh, 10 thousandths. four allen bolts are torqued to 89 inch pounds uh, so go ahead and set that here's a great spot to uh, kind of see how a two stroke works um, you can see the uh, piston coming down and opening the exhaust port. Of course, that's basically your valve, or is your valve on a two-stroke. Um, here will be these reed valves. And those are basically just one-way check valves that only let air, air in, but they won't let air go back out. All right, the last thing we're gonna do tonight is install the uh, other end for the starter Bendix. Um, it has a spring in it right here, so you got to make sure you get that in and make sure it doesn't fall out while you're putting it on. Um, it goes just like that. And of course, you're going to put your bolts in. Torque these down to 62 inch pounds. Okay, so up next we're going to install the uh, stator and pickup for the um, charging system and timing of the CDU. Um, on this one, what you want to do is line up the edge of the big um, spot pickup on this rotor housing with the uh, hole on the um, ring gear. It's actually going to sit about right there on it. So about right there. So that's where that goes. Uh, up next we're going to put the bolts in. Of course we're going to lock tap these. Now that we have the uh, rotors installed and the starter bindex holder, um, we can install the cover for the front. The first thing we need to do is install this drive for the oil pump. It just simply slips onto the nut. Uh, I apologize about the footage being lost for that. Unfortunately, the camera battery went dead and I didn't realize it until I'd already finished installing this stuff. When we're installing the um, cover, it has this giant o-ring. I'm just going to run some oil around the edge of it to help it seal.
putting these on can be a little tricky because the magnet um, like to grab everything inside here. The manual of course calls for these 12 bolts to be Loctited as well. So we'll go ahead and get started on that. These 12 bolts will be torqued down to 80 inch pounds. Okay, the front cover is installed. Up next, we'll be installing the oil pump. Okay, now we need to install the oil pump. Um, when installing the oil pump, the main thing you got to make sure of is that this slot right here lines up with the slot in the drive right there. And there it is. Then we'll simply install the bolts, and of course, they'll need some lock tight. These are going to be torqued down to 6 newton meters or 53 inch pounds. Okay, and the front cover is done. Up next we'll install the reed valves and intake. Um, reed valve covers, intake, uh, manifolds, whatever you want to call them. Um, First thing you need to do is inspect the reeds, make sure there's no cracks. Um, these look great, I've already inspected them. They simply go right in here, they're symmetrical. Some reeds have a shape, but these don't matter. These of course, like everything else in this build, will be Loctited. Okay, now we're going to torque down these bolts. They're going to be torqued down to 80 inch pounds. So we'll go ahead and start on that. I'm going to use a crisscross pattern to make sure it tightens down on this plastic evenly. Okay, our next step is installing the uh, exhaust manifold, exhaust manifold brackets, and of course the bolts. Um, just like everything else on this engine, everything's going to need to be Loctited. Okay, so the exhaust bolts actually do have a torque sequence, but we're just going to run them down by hand first before we start on that. Bye. 
Okay, so the torque sequence on these uh, exhaust manifold bolts is first 17 foot bounds following the sequence provided in the manual um, and then to 30 foot pounds after that. Okay, then we'll do our final torque to 30 foot-pounds. Okay, and our exhaust manifold bolts are installed. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode today. Um, of course we installed the rotor, the front court cover, the oil pump, the reed valves, the covers, and then of course the exhaust manifold. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we're going to wait to install the starter till we finish more of the bottom of the engine, that way it has something to rest on. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and join me next time.